about Rudolph right now. Very impressive. He's in the lap traffic now, Jackie. Setting a really good pace. I'm hoping he doesn't burn his tires off. That's going to be critical. You see him pushing the issue right here on the 80 car of, uh, of uh, Michael Spini. And here he goes lapping him. And he is just really getting on with it right now, Jackie. You can tell the distinct dif the difference between here and Riverhead Raceway. We had to use your best friend, the Chrome Horn. Let's get an update on some of the radio chatter that our buddy Ralph Sheen's been listening in on. Ralph? Jack, the one thing you're not going to do here tonight is rattle Mike Stepanek and pull him out of his strategy going into the race. This is a driver who's won here on 20 different occasions in a modified tour event. He knows what he wants to do. He's running the pace he wants to run. Things very calm, cool, and collected on the radio right now. They know there's a torn pace being set by our leader, but they're not biting. They're going with their own strategy. Interesting. Stefanik, as we said, 20 victories here, certainly knows how to get around in this car. And I wonder, Jimmy, with what we're seeing so far, with 31 laps in the record books, all of a sudden these strategies we were talking about, if you're a crew chief, you're starting to think differently because usually you'd at least have a caution by now. Yeah, you, you would think, Jackie, we've already completed over 31 laps, and you would definitely think we'd have a caution. A lot of heavy lap traffic in turn. That allows a lot of cars to get away from one another. Stefanik having a lot of experience experience here Rudolph you know what he is really cutting through this lap traffic and this is going to be critical because Ralph had said it earlier if you are hard on tires well this is hard on tires when you don't have caution flights you don't have caution laps you are using tires up right now let's get an update on the pitch strategy of our leader Eric Rudolph Ralph Shaheen well Jimmy you should be crew chiefing for Eric Rudolph because that's exactly what Charlie Rudolph his crew chief has decided they're going to do for Eric first caution of the night whenever it comes they're coming for tires that makes a lot of sense. Get in and then try to, as, as uh, Hank Stram used to say, matriculate your way back through the field. And let, let's face it, this guy, we uh, we know this guy will push the pedal. His dad, a famous racer Absolutely. up in New York, and Rudolph, he's, he's on a vengeance, Jack. I'm going to tell you what, think back to Manadnock. Led the first 94 laps and then he's, lost it yes. again. He, he's not going to lose Stafford tonight. He's saying, you know what, guys, there's one thing for me to do here. That's thing, hold this thing wide open. And, I mean, well, go as fast as I can go as long as I can. So I think that's what he's doing right now. Look at him on the outside here, just lapping cars left and right, Jackie. And a really unique paint on this car. We have the yellow bumper, and underneath the bumper, the yellow scoop, which that allows him, when he does hit pit road, his crew will know whose car it is. Also, his spotter will spot that. You take a look at the lap time, and you can really see that it reinforces what my point has been, is that everybody is somewhat settled in, kind of like the big grizzly bears just going down into hibernation right now. But as you watch Eric Rudolph work through the corners, you were talking about balance at the top of the show. From my perspective, it looks like this kid's got some balance in this race car. Car's rolling the corners really, really well. You see the car just really entering the corner on the low side, moving up just a little bit, not real loose, power down, and, and just really taking a great line through this racetrack. Early pit stop for last week's winner, Rowan Pennick. Let's go trackside. Well, Jack, this is not the kind of pit stop you want. A lot of smoke pouring out of the hood on the number 93 of Rowan Pennick right now. Crew down inside looking to see where it's coming from. They've called for them to shut the motor off. It looks like it's going to be an early night here for Rowan Pennick. Panic, who finally broke into victory lane one week ago at the Bull Ring and Riverhead Raceway after holding off Ryan Priest, will, looks like, call it a night early. 48 of 150 laps have been completed here. At age 24, you can see the smile on Panic's face. We have trouble in turns one and two. First caution of the evening. Two cars have come together, and they have come together hard. Jamie? Jamie, Jamie Tomano and Woody Pitcat have crashed just beyond the safer barrier. We will check in on what happened to those two drivers when we return. Here from the Stafford Motor Speedway, Eric Rudolph leads. Back here at the Stafford Motor Speedway, it's feeding time at the zoo. All of your leaders are pulling down on the pit road. Let's go to Ralph Shaheen. 30 miles an hour down pit road. Here comes our race leader. Chris Murphy's got the jack. He goes to the right side. They can change three tires, any three tires, when they want to. Let's see what they decide to do here. Looks like they're going to go for the right side tires. Everybody coming down pit road. All of the top running cars in on pit road right now. Now, changing tires in a modified takes a little bit of time. This is not going to be as fast as you might see in the Sprint Cup Series. They make a shock adjustment to the right front tire. 
Charlie Rudolph comes around. They're going to back him up. They're only going to take two tires, and away he goes. Pretty good pit stop for Rudolph. He's off in his way, Jack. Some tight quarters, though, down on pit road. You can see the yellow cone that has been drop kicked in front of Bobby Santos, the third's pit stop. And it was a, it's a way because Santos is in cockeyed into his pit. And what's interesting, Jackie, we're talking about will we pit, not pit. Three cars stayed on the lap track. Those three cars were lapped down. Every leader pitted. Pretty much throws our strategy yeah, right out. That's what I was going to say, Jackie. Exactly. You know? I mean, these guys, and I think what that was about, Jackie, was green flag laps. And these guys, when you start getting those green flag laps at the pace of 19 second laps, you know that you're going to be hard on them tires. 51 laps have been completed. So we are in, at least have completed the first third of the race. We are working through our first caution. Your leader at this point would be. Uh, would be uh, would actually be Doug Kobe. That's Richie Pillai, who I believe will get the lucky dog. Let's go back down to Ralph Shaheen once again. Jack, I want to explain why these pit stops take a little bit longer in the modified tour than they do in, say, Sprint Cup. As you can see, the bull pattern is spread way out and around. So the guys have to go way out over and try to get that wrench up in there and get those things loose with the air gun. Whereas with a Sprint Cup wheel, it's more right here in the center. It's bing, 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 and off they come. It takes a little bit longer to get that lug wrench up in there and get that off. What was interesting, though, when every and Ralph, when everybody was pitting, and this is a fairly sizable pit road at the Stafford Motor Speedway. Let's go, though, before we talk about that, let's go back and take at least the tail end of this accident. You can see. Bumper's Woody, hooked there, Jackie. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie Looks like and a Woody demo have, derby. <laughs> Jamie and Woody have basically already come together, but the bumper, the front bumper is under the rear bumper of the, the front bumper of the 99 is under the 29, and, well, they're not stuck. They're just hung up. Well, and the, these cars got big skid rails, fans, and, and what they did was they have an opening and they got hooked. By him turning off of him, he broke loose. Really, neither car got a lot of damage there, so they both continued on. Talking about pit road being a little bit uh, congested, this is a big pit road. Big this pit and road, Thompson Jack. have two yes. big pit roads. But the guy that gained the most on this one, as we watch Richie Pillai, he is the lucky dog. He'll get the, the, the wave around. But the guy directly behind him, is Doug Kobe. Now, this is an interesting story on Doug Kobe. Kobe is a part-time racer here, and that is the 92 car that is owned by Bobby Santos Jr. What's interesting is, is that you wouldn't think that Bob Santos Jr., you know, why would he want to be racing against some car? I'll tell you the why. The Bob Garbrino car is pretty tough. I will tell you why. When Doug Kobe was racing quarter midgets, a young Bobby Santos decided at five years old to go racing quarter midgets. Who was his hero? Doug Kobe. Doug Kobe. Payback one one time. hand washes the other. That, that's a pretty neat deal. That's a neat thing about short track racing. Whether you're in the Northeast where we are tonight at Stafford, or you're in Wisconsin or California, Texas, you know, if you've helped somebody along, Jackie, they're going to return the favor. That was pretty neat Santos doing that for him tonight. Let's go back to that series of pit stops and the end of it. I was talking about the congestion at the end of pit road. You can see how tight everybody is, but do you see how far out the V4 is? Now, there's Ronnie Silk trying to get by, but they've got the cone. Now, that cone is there for ascertaining the 30-mile-an-hour speed limit. Kobe, I mean, Kobe, Ron Silk couldn't get by because of the way the V4 was in his pit. And the other thing I also noticed there also was a lot of guys... They come in later than the guys. They line these cars up, fans, by their point position, not the way they qualified. So some guys are further up in the points. Right. They were not in the same position on the racetrack. They were ahead. A lot of conf confusion because they had to get in and not block their competitor in, but at the end result, you did. 